So Linda says, how can I get more people to attend live training sessions? I already offer bonuses to those who show up. I've tried different times of day and different days. I know they see the content is valuable because I get lots of signups, just no show up. So I also send multiple reminders. Okay. So first, Linda, I need to know more specifically, like when you say uh, training sessions, is this like a launch type training or is this an internal training with your membership people? Uh, yeah, it's um, it's a twice monthly training for people who exist inside my membership. Ah, okay. We were... Because when you said you gave bonuses, Nika and I were like, well, maybe this she's talking about a lot. Oh, I think actually, scratch that, scratch that. When I wrote that, I was thinking of, I did a, a five-day romance challenge. And um, I just didn't have a lot of people show up, even though I had a lot of people sign up. So that's what I was thinking of with that one. Okay. And so was this, this was external outside of your membership? It was like to a yes. cold audience? And do you remember the numbers, like how many signed up versus how many showed up? Yeah, I had 161, 63, something like that, that signed up. And I had, uh, on each of the five days, I had five to six people show up. I mean, to be honest with you, in this day and age, I mean, you're not, you're not, um, without running ads and getting thousands of people to show up, to, to sign up. Okay. And just doing that to your audience, like doing that to your audience. It sounds like you're doing something to them. <laughs> I mean, um, just launching it to your, your existing audience. I mean, that's not, it's not the craziest thing I've ever heard of. It, it's, you know, I wouldn't call it a failure, especially if they watch your replay. I could share with you some of the things that, that we do. You already named, you know, a lot of them, like sending lots of reminders but one thing that we do, one reminder we have found that works better than all of the others is after we are live, maybe five minutes into the training, we have an email that goes out with that little red dot next to it that looks like live, you know, like a recording button. Do you see that? It's in the, it's hard to see. Let me. Uh, I can see it. How, how do you get the red dot in there? It's like an emoji. Oh, um, okay. So when you go search for your emojis and then so. The subject line, as it shows up in their inbox, is um, we're live now. And that's because so many of us are over scheduled. We've signed up for 50 million things. And yeah, we might get your reminder 30 minutes ahead, but the world could change in 30 minutes. You know what I mean? Like so much, could, so much can happen in those 30 minutes that I'm not even next to my computer anymore. But yeah. if I just logged on, I see the email. Oh, they're live now. Let me click and check it out. That really made a huge difference in our turnout rates when we do our challenges for um, for our courses. Text reminders, if you're getting their phone numbers and if you're not, I recommend um, I recommend this to everyone. We use ClickSend. We probably have a training somewhere in Front Row VIP. It's not as expensive as you might think it would be, but getting people's phone numbers is great because you can send them a text message when you go live. And all this is happening at the same time. We... We put use other channels there, meaning a couple of different things. One is if you were, you're probably going live on you on in Zoom, right? Correct. You're doing it in Zoom. And since, was this a paid challenge or was it? Uh, it was, yeah. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to do that to your, to the group or anything. Okay. Forget that. Build a community. Do you have a Facebook community, a general Facebook community? If I not, do. that's fine. But like, you know, our version of like, like the version of our front row, our big front row. Do you have a, a group like that? A free group? Yes, I do. So, I mean, I don't know how much you promoted in there. Okay. And then tagging at everyone. Now we're already a lot of us tuning that out because we're all getting tagged with at everyone. We in our business, we use it very selectively. We save it for launch time so we don't saturate people or, or, you know, just dump, knock people over the head with it. But, you know, you see, you get that notification all the time. Amy mm -hmm. Porterfield has tagged you. Really? Wow. Why, Amy, why are you tagging me, girl? And then it'll be like, oh, no, it's not really me. It's everyone, <laughs> you know, but it does work if you save it for these moments. 
tag everyone on Facebook and in your Facebook group. Don't forget in your debriefs of any kind of project like this, there should always be just a little mini debrief, even if you only do it with yourself. And we have a debrief sheet, a launch debrief to ask certain questions, but along on your debrief checklist, there should be something for collecting feedback from the people, even if just a few people, um, or if they'd be willing to jump on the phone with you to give you feedback about the the experience. Hey, I Ash. did get excellent, excellent testimonials from the people who were there. So Awesome. So I would run ads to those testimonials the next time that you do this. And I would turn that hundred and however many people into, you know, several thousand people. And another thing that might have worked or it might annoy people is you you could have experimented by really making sure everybody understood there was no replay, you know, you, sorry, like you got to show up, no replay. Yeah. In this particular case, I couldn't do this because I was participating in somebody else's project and I had to uh, have replays, but that's yeah, a good and, idea. You know, and sometimes plan. it's like, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't, I think maybe I've done that once. It's not my style, but I've seen people do it. And then super juicy, you know, just make sure your topics and everything you want people to click on are just super juicy. I always have to remind people to not be afraid of making really big promises because you're going to deliver. I mean, make sure you can deliver on it, but mm -hmm. you know, this has been the, you know, the name of the game in advertising since the dawn of man, you know, like that's really a big part of it. We have to, we have to sell it. Okay. And, in uh, you know, I'm thinking it's getting harder. I'd like your input on this, but yeah. my thought is it's getting harder to get people to show up um, when there's anything that lasts very long, like a five day challenge. These were two hours per day for five days. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm wondering if maybe, maybe I did, um, I made it for four days and made it for four hours because there's a lot of content to cover so they only had to really uh, commit to being there for two days instead of five days thoughts on that it's really trial and error I mean I look at um Sigrin who does a she does like a planning workshop every year and I think it is like three days all day long and people show up People show up. I'm like, how can she do this? I tried to watch the replay. I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> just <laughs> like, you know, I mean, but people, I think there's also, but there's also something in people that are like, there really must be a lot to this. You mm -hmm. know, she's really going to be opening up her trick, you know, her magical treasure chest. And she's going to be really pulling it all out for us. So it's really, I mean, since you've already done it once, then maybe try it the other way. I do love the sound of three days and two days versus five days. Well, the other thing is, I mean, I, I don't consider it a waste because I'll edit out parts of it and make it evergreen and make it for less money. But I do really like people showing up live. It It's just a lot more fun. It is. It is. And um, we're all thinking you look extra cute today and your earrings are I saw adorable. That. Oh, yeah. I love my little blingy ghosts. I forgot. I have ghost earrings and I always discover them on like November 1st. <laughs> Darn it. Anyway, um, thank you for the nice comments, you guys. You're so sweet. Yeah. Okay, great. 